It's a championship preview almost here to Phoenix Raceway for the Shriners Children's 500 weekend. This is the Inside Lane. I am your host, Devin Henry, and joining us to kind of look at what the NASCAR season has been so far is someone who knows a lot about the desert and the West. Joining us is the 2014 Young Lion Road Course Champion, the 2018 Snowball Derby Champion, and a 13-time NASCAR Xfinity Series winner. Driver the number 10, Stuart Haas Racing Ford Mustang from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Noah Gregson. Noah, thanks for joining me, man. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Hey, always a pleasure to have the guys out west here on the show. And of course, uh, you're going to Vegas. I know it's a big time for you, but do you have people in the industry always bugging you about like tips when they go to Vegas? Like, should I play the Buffalo? Should I go play craps? Give me some restaurants, Noah. Do they just like bombard you and you're like, that's in paradise. That's not even like where I'm from. Yeah, they, uh, everyone's been asking me like, where do I go get sushi there? And where do, where should we go for breakfast? And where should we go for lunch? And what's your favorite Mexican spots? And what's your favorite breakfast spots? And it's like, kind of worn out because <laughs> yeah, where, where we live, like Riley and myself, uh, we're way far removed from we're on the outskirts of town uh, i mean Vegas is a small city uh we're 15 minutes from the strip but you can go point to point any different point in the city um probably 30 40 minutes at max so it's not too big of a town um but yeah the places we like are a little removed off the strip so i'm a little little over answering those questions because i'm like well if you want to go where we like you're gonna drive a little bit but um everybody wants the hot tips on what we should do our team's been asking me you know what are we doing friday night what are we doing saturday night like, <laughs> we go eat dinner and, and hopefully go to bed uh, i know they will want to go tear it up but that's home for me and um i get it kind of all out of my system um during the off season I, I really, I used to like to play blackjack quite a bit. Now, the last handful of times I've been back to Vegas, if I play blackjack, I play blackjack. If I don't, I don't. You know, it, it's just kind of there now. And I know it's always fun to go back home. And also what I hear from every Arizona driver is just being able to have like real Mexican food again. Yep. But what is your favorite part? What do you love most about just going home for a weekend in the middle of the season? Uh, the food, the food is <laughs> too good out here in North Carolina and, um, their take on Mexican food is definitely not like how Arizona, California, and, um, even New Mexico, uh, you know, Las Vegas, we got the, we got killer, killer Mexican food. Like it's, it's super good. So, um, I'm grateful to be able to come from a place that has so much variety and, and get a taste of good stuff but it also spoils you because you go on the road and you're like man at least there's not a lot around here you know no matter what the given racetrack is but every place has its own twist but yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to get back to vegas and um miss the food miss you know you know we go out there and golf and, and have some fun mount bike and whatnot uh just it's home for me and and i love it and you get to carry the flag for the state of Nevada, for the city of Las Vegas, in the NASCAR circuit all year. Obviously, that's been done by the Brush Brothers for so, so long. And now you and Riley Herbst are doing the same thing, coming up through the sport. Obviously, you two have raced against each other forever. You went to Bishop Gorman. You guys have had your tips on the track, off the track, and whatnot. But, I mean, being able to go through this at almost the exact same time as Riley, what do you think it means for the both of you to really be pioneering this extra new age in NASCAR for the state of Nevada representing everyone. It's exciting. I think it's really exciting. You know, with looking up to the Bush brothers coming from Vegas as we were younger, um, they were already moved on. So we never got to race against them, but I yeah, grown up racing at the boring with Riley and, and also Zane Smith. They would live in Southern California. He'd race every weekend at the boring and at Vegas and, um, we would go out there with Dustin Ash, who ran our Legend Car team, and it's just just really special to be able to grow through the ranks with those two guys, and now to be teammates with with Riley is is really special. I've never been teammates in any NASCAR stuff with him really, so uh, to be able to to lean on him, he, he had a very uh, big win in Vegas. I was I was pretty uh, pretty excited for him to be able to get that win in a dominating fashion of, of a 
I think over 15 seconds, which was mm-hmm. really special. Um, I've always wanted to win at Vegas. So um, if I can't do it, it, it's great to see my buddy be able to do it. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's great to be able to, you know, have the support, the Vegas Valley, uh, have, have the recognition of a big city uh, like Las Vegas. I mean, it's, it's different than a lot of, a lot of places people grow up, right? You think of Miami, Los Angeles, Vegas, New York. Uh, but if you're not not in those spots, um, it was a lot different. So, with that being said, it's great to carry um, Las Vegas as my hometown, and and to be able to do it with Riley and climb up the ladder, it's it's been a lot of fun. And then right after we hit Las Vegas Motor Speedway, we're right here in Phoenix for the Shriners Children's 500 weekend. I know obviously it's not that close to Las Vegas; it's a different kind of area. But coming to a place like Phoenix Raceway, where you have had success in the past. What's special about this track or this city, whether that be on the track or away from the track? It's a it's a fun place. It, it really is, and you got downtown Phoenix. Uh, you got the sports going on throughout the year. Uh, incredible golf courses. You got Scottsdale, which which is always a lot of fun in, in the old town. Um, I, we went out to Zane Smith's bachelor party in in Scottsdale, so I, I really enjoy the Phoenix area. I've uh, been going there for a long time. Um, you know, as a kid driving through there to, to Tucson Speedway, um, my my dad's uncle, so I guess my great uncle, um, used to coach the basketball team not too far away in in, uh, in Tucson, Arizona, um, University of Arizona. So Lou Olson was uh, was my dad's uncle, and so to be able to not call Arizona's second home, but have been there a lot growing up. It, it's really cool to be able to uh, to go there, and, and the racetrack's a lot of fun. They always get a lot of camping fans and a lot of support. And then it's also good to be able to see where you stack up, build some notes for your notebook for when we go back there for the championship race. So um, there's a lot of positives with Phoenix. It's a fun city, and, and there's a lot of great people. And I know that you are an adrenaline junkie. You love to get the blood flowing outside the race car, doing other crazy things too. And after the first two races, I mean, the super speedways haven't been great to you and really a handful of others here to kick off the start of the year. So what do you do to just decompress, especially after a week like Atlanta and just have a little bit of fun as we're trying to kick off the season and get everything in gear? Uh, You just try your best each and every day. There's not anything in particular that you can really do. It's just, just moving on to the next opportunity the next week. These weeks are, you know, we live our lives one week at a time in, in, in this industry. Um, it's always about, you know, just getting to Sunday. And, then, and then after Sunday, you regroup and you work all week to get to the next Sunday. And then you regroup and you work all week to get to the next Sunday. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, there's challenges that come up. There's adversity you're going to fight and face. But at the same time, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, when you have a bad weekend, you want to get to that next Sunday. You wish next Sunday was tomorrow. But, um, you know, when you, when you do good, you want to soak it up. And you wish you had two weeks till the next race, right? So you could really soak it up and celebrate it. But at the same time, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially with the group we got on the number 10 team at, at Stuart Haas, it's, it's just a good atmosphere for me. It's a good uh, group of guys that we have surrounded us. Well, it looks like you guys are having fun with Stuart Haas. You got former teammate, you got former competitors, and looking forward to what you do in that number 10 car. But more importantly, hope you have a blast going back home in Vegas. Appreciate the time. Looking forward to what you and that number 10 team do this season. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is the championship preview taking place next weekend for the Shriners Children's 500, the Arkham Menard Series, NASCAR Xfinity Series, and the Cup Series, all having action right here at Phoenix Raceway, November 8th, 9th, and 10th.